Friday, we told you about a big recall from Fiat Chrysler of nearly 5 million vehicles for a cruise control problem. Well, the company already started fixing some of the affected vehicles over the weekend, but the whole ordeal is throwing a wrench in some people's car shopping experiences. Local 4 business editor Rod Maloney has a story about what's not for sale and where the recall is headed. Let's do what you might call Recall 101 here. This morning, Fiat Chrysler sent the VIN numbers of thousands of Dodge Journey vehicles to Washington to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, officially opening the recall on just these crossover SUVs, meaning dealers aren't allowed to sell them until they're fixed. So, 10 minutes at a time, at every FCA dealership across the country with Journeys in their inventories, they're flashing Journey hard drives. It's sort of like updating a program on your PC, laptop, or phone. And Though announced as recalled vehicles, everything else on a Chrysler lot is for sale from test drive to ride off the lot. But that's likely to change tomorrow. Some dealers tell us the Dodge Ram trucks will be next in line for the new flashed software, fixing the cruise control issues, opening those recalls. And then later in the week, FCA will roll out the new updates by Thursday so that every new vehicle on the lot gets an update by the end of the day. This, of course, is a goal, and depending on conditions on the ground, they'll either get on the deadline or have to keep working in through Friday. Now, just to be clear here, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration requires that vehicles involved in an open recall are not allowed to be sold, but Chrysler is doing what's called a rolling recall. In other words, they're going to be taking vehicles and opening up recalls in them as they get the fix in. The, fi the fix becomes available, they target those vehicles, and then they can sell those after they've been opened up. Back to you. So, Rod, what about the, the recall on vehicles that are already on the road? How's that going to all play out? Well, what happens is they usually send you a card in the mail, but uh, many times, and we've heard this a lot, people don't get the car in the, mm -hmm. in the mail because they're like the second or third owner. So the best answer here is if you have a Chrysler vehicle that's in this recall or is going to be, you should go to clickondetroit.com, and we have a link to the NHTSA website where you can punch in your VIN number and find out if, in fact, your car is recalled and then when you might be able to get it fixed. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Rod.